Warriors here in southern Nevada are fighting the war in Iraq every day and not in a figurative sense. Airmen who get special training at Indian Springs are using global satellites to fly predator spy planes already deployed overseas. Now amazingly, the airmen here in Las Vegas are able to go after the enemy on the ground in Iraq. And what's more, the brains behind the predator program have a bunch of other surprises in the works too. George Knapp of the I-Team has that story. In tiny Indian Springs, the telltale signs of civic pride aren't hard to spot. A predator sandwich is a hot item on the lunch menu, and predator chips are for sale in the casino cage. It's no exaggeration to say that the work underway at this small Air Force base is revolutionizing warfare. So we're swacking the bad guys every day. Colonel Larry Felder isn't speaking metaphorically. When he talks about whacking bad guys, he means real whacking being done from right here in southern Nevada. It's no secret that the Predator UAV, or Unmanned Aerial Vehicle, has been headquartered at Indian Springs for several years. The base is the premier training site for airmen who pilot the gangly flying robots. Many of them end up on the front lines overseas, but for some, the front line is in Las Vegas. I'm looking at the ground battle unfold over Iraq and in the cities and the fighting on the streets. Using computers and satellites, Nellis personnel are able to pilot Predator craft flying over Iraq and Afghanistan. In its early years, Predator was used strictly for reconnaissance, a spy plane, but it's evolved into a far okay. more important piece of machinery. Its sophisticated cameras can not only track and identify the enemy from above, but its Hellfire missiles can rain death on those who have it coming. The Nellis team knows that every day their Predators are saving the lives of American troops. You are being able to prevent somebody potentially with weapons from being able to shoot and uh, injure any of our troops. And of course today it's mainstream. I mean, you remember Bad Dad Bob, Bad Dad Bob, you know, we took him out. Yeah, that, uh, Boom. Yeah. Colonel Felder so, takes special you know, pride in what the Predator has become. He's the commander of the Air Force's UAV Battle Lab, basically a think tank that comes up with new ideas for a whole family of flying robots. It was Felder's team of brainiacs that first put missiles on Predators. They were instrumental in the development of backpack UAVs that can be tossed toward danger zones from which they send back streaming video. Pull those puppies out and throw them. And now the battle lab has another biggie in the works. They were asked if predators could be used to help detect hidden explosives, the kind being used in Iraq to blow up American convoys. Back in December, a demonstration was staged at Indian Springs. New software attached to the predator allowed ground troops to spot buried explosives before they could detonate. The UAV served as an escort for the test convoy, was able to spot potential attackers, and the troops did the rest. Tracked them all, found them all, and eliminated them all. Enemy deaths were six, friendly deaths were zero. This life-saving technology could be in use in Iraq by year's end. Colonel Felder wouldn't confirm it, but admits Predator could be used in the search for certain persons hiding in Afghanistan. Predator can loiter in the air for 40 hours or more, and its cameras can see everything. From 10,000 feet in IR, you can read the license plate off of a car that's driving by. Lately, Iran is complaining that something like a Predator has been spying on its nuclear facilities. Could Iran's UFOs be UAVs flown from Nellis? Hypothetically speaking. That particular area I can't talk about. I understand. But, uh, but yes, they could probably could be used in that realm. George Knapp, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. UAV technology already has come a long way, but seems poised to make another big jump. Would you believe flying robots the size of insects and other pilotless craft as big as a stealth fighter? Tomorrow night at 11, George shows us cutting-edge ideas that could change the world. Amazing.